Hello, welcome to White Davy Gardening and Worm Farm. Have you ever harvested garlic and see them looking more like an onion? Notice you can't see any formation of the cloves or you can see the formation of the cloves but they have not separated yet. There are two reasons why this happens. One, you either planted them too late or you've harvested them too early. The best time to plant garlic is usually six weeks before the first frost. So between October and November or between January and February is the best time to plant your garlic. Of course, the time when you plant your garlic depends on the variety. Some garlic may require more growing time than others. The most important thing to remember is that garlic require exposure to temperatures below 10 degrees C for a minimum of 30 days for you to get healthy garlic and for your garlic to have really nicely developed clothes. If you didn't get to plant your garlic in the fall or in the winter, then what you can do is stratify the garlic by placing it in the refrigerator for around six weeks and then when your growing season starts, you plant it then but then that depends on the variety of garlic that you are growing and how long your growing season is but this method works very well the best time to harvest your garlic is usually when the plant starts to topple over and the lower three sets of leaves start to turn brown and at that point in time you don't want to wait until the garlic dies back fully so when the three lower set of leaves start to turn brown that is the best time to harvest them and you don't want to harvest them and leave them in the ground or when they reach the stage where they can be harvested you don't want to leave them in the ground to extend the life of your garlic when you harvest it you don't want to separate the garlic from the plant of course naturally when you're harvesting some of the garlic may break away from the plant but that's okay but you don't want to separate it from the plant in a cool dark well ventilated area you're going to place your garlic in single layers where they can have a natural hair flow and cure your garlics allow them to stay there for three to four weeks and that will help to extend the life of your garlic so what is the difference between hard neck and a soft neck garlic for one soft neck garlic comes in layers and it does not have that scape in the middle of the garlic as is the case with onions the hard neck garlic will have a flowering shoot in the center of the garlic and that is where your seeds are going to be produced so you see this hard portion here this is the section where the garlic will produce flowers and it is called the scape so when I mentioned that the soft neck comes in layers, you will notice that the outer layer and then it has a inner layer there. So that is a soft neck variety. It will come in layers. The hard neck varieties do not come in layers. So you will notice that the outer layer goes all the way into the scape. So that is one way that you can tell the hard neck variety from the soft neck. Of course, under certain conditions, both the hard neck or the soft neck variety can produce a scape. 
but it's not very often that 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 will happen now the hard neck variety is more suited for colder weathers whereas the soft neck varieties is more suited for warmer environments so members of the hard neck family includes turban porcelain purple stripe rocombo asiatic marble purple stripe and glazed purple stripe members of the soft neck family includes artichoke silver skin inchelium red and california soft neck so whether you're going to store your garlic or you're going to be planting it do not separate the cloves from the root plate now you see this little thin layer here at the bottom of the garlic that hard layer that is the root plate you do not want to separate your cloves from the root plate because doing so will shorten the life of your garlic so to preserve to lengthen or this so to lengthen the shelf life of your garlic you don't want to separate it from the root plate keep it together until you are about two days or so away from planting before you actually separate it so did you enjoy this video did you find it informative would you like to see more informative videos like these why not take a moment to give me a thumbs up if you're new to my channel please subscribe and turn on your notification for more updates like these thank you so much for watching and have yourself a wonderful day yeah man it's time to grow